How long did you know Malaysia? About six years. Although he wasn't considered a suspect, he may have critical information. You were the last one to see Malaysia alive. Mm -hmm. What was y'all last conversation like? I remember getting out of work, and she had called me, and she was like, hey, Dad, can you take me to the block? I dropped her off that night, didn't think anything of it. But then she reached to my car, she grabbed my face and kissed me on my cheek. That wasn't normal, like, it wasn't normal. Like, I felt something that day. It always been in the back of my mind, like, did I drop you off to, your, to the end of your, end of your life? When you say you took her to the block, like, what you mean? Like, you know, as a block? transgender woman, like, you know, it's a sex worker. I'm gonna put it at that way, you know? The block is a place where Johns go to have dates with transgender women. It's where they exchange money for sex. She was an escort. That was Malaysia. I hope the boys appreciate that, because I'm putting up my business mug. Was Malaysia killed by a client? There's a lot to unpack here. I want to learn more about the kind of work that Malaysia was doing and how dangerous that work can actually be. Imagine Malaysia getting the sex work. That can't be easy. And did you think that it might have been connected to Malaysia's murder? I think that anything is possible. Like, there was the one thing about Malaysia, like, we used to always ask her, why you don't have no protection? Why you don't have no knife, no gun, no nothing? She would always say, if somebody gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me. Malaysia voiced her pains on her live videos. This one taken just two months before her murder. I, I don't get people. I, 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 I don't get people. I don't get none of y'all. Nobody. If you don't value me, then I don't need you. Bitch, I got hit in the face with a gun. Any other question, I am done with it. There's no redos in life. Bitch, when you die, it's game over. It's game over. Before her murder, 22-year-old Malaysia Booker was last spotted just two miles from where her body was found. It's an area of Dallas for trans sex workers known as the block. The boys shall play and pay if you know what I mean. <laughs> How did Malaysia get into sex work and why? Malaysia kept the nine to five all the way up until she was like 21. My best friend has gotten pee thrown in her face working at the fast food store that she worked at just cause she was trans. And then she would get off at like one in the morning. So she has to walk home. So getting harassed and beat up on the way home. If you ever met Malaysia, her arm was stuck like this. And it's cause she had like three surgeries on it because of fights. Damn. Dallas PD have a lead in the homicide of Malaysia Booker. A witness gave the description of the car she was last seen getting into. But there are still no answers as to who the driver was. The investigation gets compounded when another trans woman, Chanel Lindsay, is found dead at a nearby lake. Malaysia and Chanel's deaths were only the most recent cases of a growing list of unsolved trans murders. Chuler in 2015, a woman named Armani, and then Malaysia was killed, and then Chanel was killed, and it's like, what the hell is going on? Are these all connected? Police did say they see some similarity to these cases. Those in the transgender community feel that there is a serial killer. A serial killer. Serial killer. It's hard to say if all these cases involving trans women of color is the work of one individual. It's bone chilling to think that there might be a serial killer that's out targeting trans women. But in another way, it's even more concerning there are multiple trans people being killed by multiple people, which kind of speaks to how pervasive this whole thing is. There was all this talk about a uh, serial killer targeting trans women, so there was also a lot of fear. Is there any concern that there could be a serial killer targeting transgender women? Right now, we don't have the evidence. I'm a transgender woman. What are we going to do to stop the violence against people like me that feel safe in the community? And that's our goal, is to provide safety for each and every person in the community. In the aftermath of 
Malaysia's assault and then the subsequent murder. There was an outpouring of protests, of press conferences, really raising awareness about this issue. And then you have Chanel's murder. How much pressure that put on the police department to get it right and figure out who's behind this? I don't think the police needed that pressure put on them. The police, in this case, they were concerned. They saw what that made Dallas look like. Hmm. The police were determined to solve this. A community on edge, women in fear, and a killer, or killers at large.